this is Monica and Lindy from Huckleberry Mountain Botanical School of Herbalism. Uh, Lindy's going to get us set up on the prepared homestead. That's what she does every day. If this is your first time with us, welcome. Um, if you haven't liked our page, please go over and like Huckleberry Mountain Botanicals. If you're watching this from the prepared homestead, then please go over and do that. And then click on those little three dots that that give you um, the ability to get notifications when we go live so that you don't miss anything. This week, we're going to do a lot of just easy, fun stuff. Hi, Shamra. Hi, Sean. Hi, Shamra. Uh, today, we're, we're going to make a really nutritious and um, wonderful herbal salt that you can put on almost anything. It is going to have some seaweed in it, so maybe things that are Asian-inspired or if your family doesn't mind the taste of seaweed, then on pastas or in soups, yeah. things like that. Um, but tomorrow we're gonna to be making a dessert. Yes, you can use herbs, and this is more of a foraging type thing. Wednesday, I think we're doing something fun as well. I can't something. remember. I can't remember exactly what we're doing. And Thursday, anniversary follower, Shamra, you're an anniversary what? follower. What does that what? mean? I'm not I don't even know sure, what that means. but you got a new label, girlfriend. Congratulations. Um and then Thursday, I'll be making two drinks. Uh, we're, we're kind of, Rose is sort of starring this week. Not today, but starting tomorrow, we're going to be making things with rose hips and um, kind of moving through. Next week, we'll be doing things that are a little less, <laughs> what do I win? Yeah, you, you win our affection. <laughs> you win our, our congratulations. Our, like, virtual high five. Virtual high five. Um. And so, you know, this week is, is, I don't know, it's kind of dessert. I feel like we're at the end of August and there's something celebratory about that. It's right before school starts and, and everybody's going to be, you know, a little busier with, <laughs> Worth it. with their, um, with their lives and stuff. So I thought, oh, let's do, let's just do some fun dessert type things for the week. Anyway, today we are making, I don't know what to call it. It's like a, a new season. Yeah, but it's like a nutritive sprinkle. Yeah. It's it's like a really, it's a powerhouse of nutrition sprinkle. You can use nettle seeds rather than um, leaves. I did not get out and get my seeds soon enough. You wanna make sure when you're gathering nettle seeds that they're green. They're, they should not be fully brown and kind of dead on the plant. Mm -hmm. They need to be green when you go out and you gather them, wear gloves because you'll probably get stung. Yep. And they're great for what? The kidneys and uh -huh. What's what this? sits on top of the kidneys? The adrenal glands. Oh, that! Yeah. Yes. The adrenals. <laughs> they're really, really good. They've got, they're packed with a lot of vitamins that the nettle leaves are, um, but the seeds you can just use and sprinkle on. I didn't gather them, so we're not using that today. We're going to be grinding up our nettle leaf. Power yeah. sprinkles, exactly. Power sprinkles. Um, so I'm, I'm going to get this started. Okay, well, we're going to start out with, with roasting sesame seeds. And the whole recipe will be on our free herbal content. Go over there, sign up for that. You can find it there. And when we, we're roasting the seeds until they're golden brown, it's going to take three to five minutes to do that. And while she's doing that, I'm going to talk about the rest of the things that we've got going on here. Remember, nettle is really high in vitamin A, C, K, um, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, calcium. It is one of the best um, nutritive tonics that you can possibly take. This is the kind of thing you want to be putting in a jar at night, letting soak all night, and getting all the herbal goodness out and drinking that throughout the day. It is the best way to get it, but we're going to be eating these whole because I'm going to be grinding them up, putting them in a spice blend, and then sprinkling them onto our food. The next thing is wakame, and you can use any kind of seaweed really, but seaweed is great for the thyroid, especially um, for people that have are struggling with hypothyroidism or an underactive thyroid. If you are on thyroid medication, make sure to check with your doctor first and make sure you're getting your levels checked because sometimes adding seaweed can actually um, allow you to decrease your thyroid medication. Not always, but sometimes. So it's good to be safe. Sage. Sage is great for the brain. It's great for home hormone regulation. Sage has a lot of awesome, awesome properties. And we'll be adding a little bit of that. Not a lot, 
um, to this. It's great for people, women going through menopause as well. And then garlic, you know, if you, if you have your own garlic and you dry it, then great. Um, or you can purchase it from a reputable source, you know, anywhere that has like an organic, powdered organic, dried organic. As your standard is a great place to get that. Um, they also have it, they'll probably have it at local health food stores, things like that, where you can find some good quality garlic. Now, so Lindy is over there roasting the um, seeds. Let me just ask, has anybody um, used nettles recently? Have you, whatever you've, have you made anything with nettle lately? If you have, let me know. Shamra, did you make something? And whoever's here, hi, Julia. Um, I'm glad you said hello. I'm so nice to have you here. Um, she's making right now what the Japanese would consider a sesame salt. This is a kind of a common uh, thing. However, I'm adding quite a bit more salt than you would in a sesame salt because we're adding so many other herbs and ingredients that you don't normally add to that sesame salt. Tea all the time. Nice. Are you doing the nourishing herbal infusion or are you just doing a quick infusion? Either way, you get some really great benefits from nettle. The, the nettle tea is so wonderful. And I personally think it tastes good. I know I've told this story before, but I've taken nourishing herbal infusion before. We're just made of nettles and people just about died because it tastes green. It tastes so green. I just feel like you're getting a, um, a taste of spring, even in middle of winter when you drink a nettle tea. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little grinder and I know I've said this before too, you need to make sure you have a dedicated grinder. Don't share it with your coffee, just don't. Coffee is really oily and the herbs are very fragrant and some of them have those volatile oils that just kind of stick and that will get right into your coffee and you don't necessarily want that, adulterated coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind up the wakame. The reason you wanna grind it up, even though this looks really small, it expands like crazy and you'll end up with these big giant chunks of um, seaweed, <laughs> which sometimes that's fine, especially if you're having like a miso soup. You like the floating um, seaweed in your, in your miso, which I, I just think that's delicious. Love miso. Anybody else straight, um, have miso soup? Love miso so much. Even if you're watching this later, let me know if you if you uh, drink miso. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. All right. So we got this ground up. I'm gonna put that in there, and then slowly kind of. I I'm just gonna add my sage because it's already ground, and my garlic powder. And she will be uh, finishing up with the sesame seeds and then she'll be putting the salt in there and cooking that for about 30 more seconds and then we'll grind that together. You don't have to grind the sesame seeds, you can make them completely whole if you want to, but I like to grind them just a little bit to incorporate that sesame into the salt a little more. All right. All right. So there's the salt and let's put it on about 30 seconds just to kind of heat it through. And it, yeah, it just incorporates that flavor of the sesame into the salt, which then allows it to really penetrate the entire um, spice blend that you just made. And I'm not making these super, super small. I don't know if you can see. They're not like um, tiny, tiny, but they're definitely sprinkles. You want them to be able to sink in. You don't want big chunks, you know, on your food, especially if you're having friends over. They might, if they're not herbal people, they might think you're a little crazy. Just don't tell them what's in it. Like, oh, it's so healthy. Sometimes people will taste things, uh, you know, a lot of times people think nettle is toxic. I think I bumped into someone here they think because they've been told, stay away from nettles. They're, you know, they're dangerous. Yeah, they sting. They do. <laughs> But once you steam them or dehydrate them or even blend them, it tastes like soup to me. Oh. Yeah. The night before. Because miso is delicious. Yeah, miso is really good. That's that's one of my go-tos in the winter. I love it. I'll 
Alright, we're good. Oh. Is it gonna fit in here? Oh no, we, we need to grind it first. Oh. Yep. So put it right in there. She's finishing that up and we're gonna grind that. And then this is just another really easy way to get those herbs into yourself and your family in a way that is natural and simple. You can leave this just sitting on the table if you want to and just yeah, let just people split on anything. Yeah. Sprinkle yeah. away. All right. All right. Then you grind that up. Yeah. I should have brought a little funnel. I guess I have one down below. All right, I'm just gonna grind this a little. It's gonna be like three or four pulses, and that's it. Nothing, I, I don't want it to turn into a paste, and it will turn into a paste if you do it too long. You can still have some of those chunks left. Why does this keep getting stuck? I'm having a wrestling match. Mmm, that sesame smells good. Yes, it does. Wow. It's so fragrant it's and nice. like toasting pine nuts. It just smells, oh, smells really, really so good. good. Really, I think that <laughs> you can do it. Can I? I don't know. Okay, there we go. I think I've got herbs kind of trapped in there yeah. and it's, it's making it stay closed. I'm just going to get this last little bit out here. And, oh, yeah. That smells so good. The one thing is you, you can put this in a container. Um, even get one of those little shaker tops, which would be really, really awesome. We have these, these shaker tops that are super nice. But you do want this to cool down before you cap it or close it tightly. So you don't get any of that moisture in there. And what's nice is that this heat is kind of drawing the flavors and um, the stuff up from the yeah. other herbs as well. So you're just getting this nice, mm, delicious smelling herbal blend. Can you smell the sage? The sage. No, I smell. I can't know. Yeah. It's kind that of, reminds me of something. I need to think for a second. It's heating it up slightly and just getting that nice That's fragrance. Fascinating fragrance because it's got the grassiness and the greenness of the nettle plus the sesame plus sage. Mm -hmm. mm, taste that. That's good. People, you need to make this. This is so good. It doesn't, and the thing is, if your family doesn't like the taste of seaweed, this has so many other flavors that are balancing it, it out. It tastes like seaweed. Mm -mm. It's too salty with the flavor yes. of the other herbs. And it is quite salty. So mm. if you are on a low sodium or limited sodium diet, decrease the salt. Don't worry about that. You can decrease it. But this, if, you're, if you are going to use this, don't over season your food yet. Let this be your seasoning. If it says add salt and pepper, mm -hmm. add some of this sprinkle instead of the salt. Yeah, and it adds just a little bit of nutrients to it. Mm -hmm. why not? So good. It, 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 it's really good. It's just delicious. One, probably one of my favorite sprinkles that we've made so far. Yep. We have a lot of different sprinkles, but this is one that I haven't made um, with all of these particular herbs in it. We've done ones like this, but not this mm -hmm. exact. And this is... This is a winner. It's a keeper. Yeah. If you're going to make one spice blend, make this. And I'll be adding this to my herbal preparations course, I think 105 as well, because it's it really, to me, is a good one. Our 102 is opening September 1st. So if you are thinking about enrolling um, in our herbal preparations course or you want to go through the entire program or receive a certificate, then you can go in and um, either buy the whole... Oh, Shamra, you should be excited to try it. It's good. Um, you can buy the entire program, the 101 through 105, or you can just pick and choose and, and do yep. what you want. Mm -hmm. That's perfectly fine, too. There will be a discount on 102 until it opens, and then after that, it'll go back to regular price. So I think that is it. Don't forget, follow us. Um, get notifications of us going live so that you know when we're coming on. Monday through Thursday, 6.30 p, uh, Pacific time. Right now it's daylight, but it'll be standard at some point. Yeah. So anyway. All right. So I guess that is it for today. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. We are going to make a really simple cheesecake. It's not 
really a technical cheesecake, but it is a like a cheesecake, and we are going to be making that with um, rose hip jam. So join us tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you. Until next time, health and joy. Bye.